Good day learners. In this lecture, we will be seeing about Durand trilogy which is, comes under continuous improvement process. Durand made his contribution namely on the quality like quality planning, quality control and quality improvement which is called as Durand trilogy. The first process under Durand trilogy is called quality planning. Here we have four steps. The first step is identification of the planning component which are the external customers. Once the external customers are framed with the goals, they are going to determine the internal customers. So, who are these internal customers? Yes, it is us. The external customers are from the organization side like the managers and the other suppliers. Once the customer needs have been discovered by these external customers, they are going to develop the product or the features based on the customer needs. So this is going to be the third step. And the final step or the fourth step is going to produce the product or the service features based on the customer needs. In quality control, we are going to mainly focus on the need for the product, process and the other service requirements. Now let us see these steps one by one. First, we need to determine the subjects, what needs to be controlled and the unit of measurement. Then, we need to set the goals and how we are going to determine what type of sensors can be used for a particular place. Once it has been measured, we are going to compare the actual performance with the old one. So, comparing the actual performance to the goals, whatever we have made in the initial process is going to be the second step. Then, as a final step, we are going to act on the difference. In quality improvement, our aim is to attain the level of performance which are much more higher than the current level. The process improvement is begin with the establishment of the quality council. So, the quality council has two duties. The first duty is going to be the identifying the improvement projects and the second one we are going to establish the project teams based on the project owner. So here the teams are provided with the resources to determine the correct cost and then create solution and further establish the controls to hold the gains. Here in this diagram if you see the sporadic spike can be identified and determined by the quality control whereas the chronic waste can be done by the improvement process. So we can learn from this diagram as the goals can be established and learned through the quality planning as the initial process always. The improvement strategies are repair, refinement, renovation and reinvention. Repair. So whenever the customer gets a damaged project or a product then it has to be repaired or fixed immediately. Refinement. The refinement improves the effectiveness and the efficiency of a particular product or any service. Renovation. The innovation and technology improvement is done in this renovation process. For example, the rechargeable batteries what we have. The reinvention. As renovation is going to be the improvement strategy, the reinvention is going to be based on the customer needs. So, whenever we are going to invent some new things, it is based on the customer requirements.